I'm sure you're all aware that Election Day is coming up. Now, I can't tell you how to vote due to our 501c3 status, but what I can tell you is to vote biblically. We know where both candidates stand on the issue, and what you put on your ballot is really a question of morality. Do you love God, or do you love the ways of this world? Let me say this. God is the author of life, not women. We have lost over 60 million innocent babies to abortion. Now, let that sink in for a second. These, these 60 million, they, they could have been doctors, could have been firefighters, could have been business owners, lawyers, professors, actors, so many different things, even just followers of God. But unfortunately, we will never know what they could have become. In the end, God will render all an account for all the innocent blood that has been shed. Planned Parenthood was founded by a racist white woman named Margaret Sanger, who believed in the superiority of the Aryan race. Now, all of us here know that there is only one race on the face of this earth, the human race. And we know that God loves us all. But let me say this about Margaret Sanger. She believed that there was only one white superior race and that all other races needed to be eliminated through the means of eugenics. I'm sorry, that is a 25 cent word right there, eugenics. Eugenics is a set of beliefs and practices that aim to improve the genetic quality of human population historically by excluding people and groups judged to be inferior. So Margaret Sanger promoted the birth control project as a way to eliminate those she considered to be inferior races. Her goal with this project was for the gradual suppression, elimination, and eventual extinction of defective stocks. To kill black babies and eliminate what she considered to be an inferior race. And even after all these years, this is still the case to this very day. Abortion vendors are set up in minority neighborhoods, and black women make up for 38% of all abortions, even though black people are only 13% of the population. So let me ask you this. How can black lives matter when politicians support abortion as an institution that eliminates 38% of black people in the womb? Our very own governor, the governor of Virginia, approves of nine-month abortions where the baby will be delivered only then to be terminated. Yet this governor who wore blackface, might I add, will mandate a piece of cloth mask claiming he wants to save lives, but this governor blackface will advocate for aborting a live baby after it's born. As I said earlier on in this study, God will render all an account for all the innocent blood that has been shed. But now, let me end by saying this once again. I cannot tell you how to vote due to our 501c3 status. But what I can tell you, and what I urge all of you to do, is to vote biblically. Well, you know, when you really think about it, it's just like Pastor Carlton said. All those aborted babies are sacrifices to Malak because they burn the remains. You know, that's just sick. I mean, why would like anyone watch sick. that and think that abortion is okay? Well, you know, I saw this documentary about the entire abortion industry, and it said that it's just a corporate grab for greed. Excuse me, Barb. Um, I think there are other issues to consider here. Like what? Well, um, being pro-life doesn't make a person moral, mm -hmm. and the Bible says we're supposed to help the poor. This candidate is all about cutting welfare. And I can't understand why he's so adamant about forcing a woman to keep her baby. And then when the babies come, doesn't support them. So the answer is to kill them. You know, everyone who support abortion, I mean, has been born. 
And now they try to take that same option away from millions of other children who's not born yet. And you cannot tell me that they support life and value life and care for the poor, but they can't even make the distinction that life begins at conception. Well, there are people who, well, if a woman gets raped, mm -hmm. that baby is just a constant reminder that she's been violated. Okay, so their solution is to punish the baby and murder it. I mean, a baby does not deserve to die because of what the father did. There are other things to consider. Okay. Like, in the beginning, Adam wasn't a living soul until God breathed life into his nostrils. That means that life does not begin until that first breath. But babies in the womb have heartbeats at eight weeks, and they move and they feel. Um, well, there's another example in the Bible, in Ezekiel 37, that talks about the dry bones. Mm -hmm. The bones come together and form flesh, but they don't really come alive until God breathes life into them. Uh, that's not meant to be taken literally. <clears throat> there's another example, okay. and this goes back to Exodus, whereby if a man harms a pregnant woman and she loses her baby, mm -hmm. the punishment is a fine. And we're talking about the Old Testament, where the cost of life is life. So do you think if, if God thought that baby was really a living soul, don't you think the punishment would be death and not just a fine? Well, I think if you read anything on the internet, you can find anyone who can justify no, anything. No, no, no. I did not read this on the internet. I read this from the actual Bible. Uh, why are you even bringing this up? Don't you support life? Don't you think all life is precious? Yes, yes, of course I do. But you have to consider, what if a woman gets raped? I mean, you already said that, but it's not about the woman and her body. It's about the little one that's in her. Okay. I mean, why should a baby suffer the consequences because of the sins of the father? Should the seed of the wicked go forward? If a woman gets raped by the devil? Do you think that God wants her to give birth to the Antichrist or have an abortion? Oh, that, that's a bit of a stretch. Well, evil people do wicked things every day. I'm just saying there are other things to consider. There's nothing to consider. Look, life is life and murder is murder. And if a woman has an abortion, she just as well murder her own child. Come on, let's go.